And don't forget to like and subscribe. Hello there. All right, I watched the movie Hit, the first case, and I enjoyed the movie. I did, but knowing me, of course there are a lot of things, and normally it's just one thing that I tend to complain about. I'll find that one thing that bothers me, and it'll just, it'll bother me throughout. So, I enjoyed the movie because I enjoy these kind of mystery cases, solving the crime. I kind of did have a feeling on who it was. I didn't want to voice it because I was like, that's too obvious. There's no way that'd be. Because I was thinking every moment he was going to ask him, oh, I need your DNA too. I was thinking he was going to do that. And I was like, okay, that'll just, and then there's going to be something else in the way. But no, no, he never, he never did. He never did. So it was just like, okay, whatever. Um, all right. The thing that bothered me the most is that they started out with this cop who's, I can't, I, he's, he's not fit for duty. He's absolutely not fit for duty. So he's suffering from PTSD on a case he went through beforehand. We are shown the start of the, the start of the movie is a girl being lit on fire as she's kidnapped. We don't know who she is, uh, whether it's a girlfriend, a sister, a, a case he's working and she's kind of, cause I, I started thinking like near the end of the film, okay, maybe th this makes more sense. She's a part of a rich family She's trying to rat them out and kind of, but there's a scene, because they do it all in flashbacks, where he basically goes to her, asks her, uh, she basically says, oh, I saw them outside, they were here, they were watching me, and then he goes to like the gardener, asks him if he saw anyone, oh no, and then he tries to give her medication, I was like, oh, she's just seeing things because she's overwhelmed, she's overworked. <laughs> so that pissed me off because he's suffering through PTSD throughout the entire movie every time whether someone lights a match or a small little p a lightning lights a tree on fire which leads to another officer dying just proves how he is not fit for duty he should not be an officer he should have been written out of duty I know he's solving the case but he has led to another officer's death because of it it just <sighs> That's the one thing that bothered me because every time I was like, okay, I was expecting him to like, they were going to show that crutch, but he was going to work past it. No, he collapsed in the middle of the street because he read a uh, dead man on a piece of paper. Uh, anytime he saw a fire, he let a criminal run off on him and they had to chase him down because uh, alcohol got lit on fire in front of him and just did a quick spark. <laughs> It just, everything kind of, it just reminded me how frail he is and how unreliable he is as an officer. He could be the, the greatest Sherlock Holmes there is ever is, but Sherlock Holmes wasn't a police officer. He wasn't, he didn't have to deal with any of that. He could, you could easily make a, a PI. If he was a PI, I think I would have enjoyed it more because it's like, you know, he's suffering with something and he doesn't have the police at his back to assist him. Here, He's an officer who's supposed to have his brother's back, but he doesn't. They have his back and they get shot for it. And that's the one thing I kept getting out of it. It, it, it aggravated me to no end because it had, and the, the freaking cliffhanger at the end, why is he being hunted? There is no purpose for that unless it has to do with the girl beforehand, but that case was a long time ago. So obviously they would have sent out a contract killer for him in the beginning. Oh, spoilers, I guess. Oh my gosh, but still, that PTSD thing pissed me off every time it popped up. It just reminded me that he's not an officer. If he was a private investigator, I would have accepted it. I would have absolutely accepted it. It should have been he is a private investigator. He created his own practice because of the experience he went through. And there is another agent who was never as good as him, but just nitpicks him, and he's in, under investigation. But of course the sergeant still holds him in high regard. They, they could have kept a lot of things exactly the same, just not made him an officer. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, I mean, I've come to accept the, the, the beating of witnesses or people who are accused of things, the fact that they're beaten with a, with a lack of evidence. I mean, I've come to accept that in, uh, from India. I mean, that's apparently a thing. I'm not, I was never used to that before. I'm like, you, you beat someone without any evidence whatsoever. You're just beating them <laughs> unless they're resisting arrest. I, I don't see the cause for it. They have them literally handcuffed there and then they start uh, torturing her basically tearing off fingernails how how but i've come to accept that it was just the whole 
aspect that he led to a brother's a, a brother in arms death. He he keeps collapsing on and, and failing in duty because he's not fit for duty. I'm I'm sorry. I focused on that one thing and it bothers me. And the fact that they didn't answer why. That's what aggravates me the most. They didn't answer why it was such an, a crutch. I guess they're going to do that in the second movie. <sighs> Yeah, it was told that it was like, oh, it's like Bahubali's ending. But no, that one was completely different. That one, you meet him at the, you find, you know that guy's very loyal. And then you find out at the very end that he killed his father. That's completely different than this, knowing that she died at the beginning. He deals with PTSD throughout and we don't find out how she died at the end. You don't introduce something in the beginning and no, don't answer it. Just, mm. Yeah, I kind of had a feeling they were going to do that because when I saw it, I was like, they're not going to answer this, are they? They're not going to answer it. They're just going to keep this going on throughout and it's going to piss me off. I was thinking that he was actually going to at least work through it. Because <laughs> they, they kind of did at the very end. He's watching his, uh, not friend, but the the, the one girl getting uh, incarnate, uh, in, 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 burned at the pyre. Yeah, he, he's witnessing that without a flinch. But that's the only time he shows that he's working past it. Uh, yeah, I enjoyed the movie. It's just that one thing, that one one element kept throwing me out and making me cringe my teeth because it was like this man's not fit for duty he's, he's not he's not and we know nothing about his past as well which I, I didn't care for I could tell that he's has a scarred past but that apparently the thing that bothered him the most was the girl being burned at the, uh, uh, burned alive at the beginning that's the thing that bothered him the most and that's the thing we needed an answer to okay I'm, I've rambled on for long enough uh, hit the first case. Ah, it's just, it's just that one element. That one element. If they would have changed it, I would have been. I would have been more. Excited. If they would have either had him work past it as the movie progressed, or just changed. It. He wasn't an officer anymore. Been much better. Uh, it could have been uh, his first case as a PI, but it, they couldn't be hit because that apparently stands for a homicide inter. A, something team yeah but which actually sounds pretty cool the acronyms and is it acronym yeah in uh india are pretty cool like the uh, the cia the the intelligence agency is war w-a-r or no raw raw war backwards but i think raw sounds cooler because it's just raw raw violence yeah the movie war is raw backwards <sighs> yeah um I can't wait to see like I, I can wait to see the second one because it just aggravated me. I'll wait to see the second one and see if it it is. I need to see them back to back. Maybe that's the case. Thank you all for watching. Talk to you next time. Toodles.